What is going on guys? Well today I wanted to give you an update on the issue that I had with Windows 10. If you guys saw my previous video, I got the blue screen of death. Yay! No, not really. Yay. Um, I have a fix for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Really quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know, I'm personally not going to upgrade to Windows 10 until I know that all the bugs are out of the way and it is a more solid um, program. Um, for my YouTube videos, for the sake of not having a headache every time I try to do something, I'm going to stick with what I have right now. I have Windows 7 on one computer and Windows 8 on another computer. Once I know, again, once I know Windows 10 is solid, then I'm going to upgrade. And I recommend you guys do the same. But if you've already upgraded to Windows 10, or even if you want to upgrade to Windows 10, and you're having the issue... Um, with the blue screen of death. I have a link for you in the video description pointing you directly to the Microsoft website. And on the Microsoft website, you can download Windows 10. You will need another computer to do this, um, unfortunately. But you will need to go follow the link and make sure you have a USB handy with enough memory. I went with four gigabytes just because I didn't want to have to worry about um, anything happening. So I just went with four gigabytes and I would recommend you guys um, go with a larger USB drive than smaller because I know my friends have had issues with this and I've discussed this with uh, several people. So what you're gonna wanna do is thankfully I was able to go into the boot menu. If your computer starts up or tries to start up before it goes through the blue screen of death, right when your computer turns on, or even if it restarts, just hold down F12. If you can get into the boot menu, this will work for you. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the Microsoft website, download Windows 10, um, either for 32 or 64 bit and then create it on a USB drive. It's really simple. It doesn't take that long and you just follow step by step. Make sure you have it. Um, you download it to your desktop and then when you open up the application, you point it to your USB and then have Windows 10 saved on the USB. When your computer restarts and you press F12, you go into the boot menu, boot from your USB, and just follow the steps. And I recommend not repairing it, but I, if you're having the blue screen of death, I recommend you actually just reinstall Windows 10 from the ground up. Unfortunately, it's going to erase everything you have on your computer. So if there is any way for you to back up your information beforehand, I definitely recommend it. But on the computer that I had issues with and the computer that I got the blue screen at death on, I didn't have any information saved on it. So I just went ahead and reinstalled it. And depending on your internet connection for the file to download, it could take up to an hour. And then from once it's downloaded, it depends on, of course, the speed of your computer and the speed of your USB drive. Um, but that can take about another 30 minutes or so. And then once you have it on the USB and you plug it in, expect for it to take time. This whole process takes time. It's not like, oh, plug in the USB and then we're good to go. No, it's, it's going to take time. Just follow the prompts. It's really simple. It's really easy. It's not rocket science. If you have any issues or if you have any questions, I will be sure to help you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'll be able to maybe go over it with you a little bit more in depth. If you guys are following me on Facebook or Twitter, you can always reach out to me on there as well. Links to everything will be in the video description. If you guys haven't subscribed already, that would be awesome. Um, I mainly do PlayStation news on this channel. Um, PlayStation news is my passion. PlayStation is the console of my choice. Um, <laughs> I do play other stuff, but, um, this channel is mainly PlayStation. So if you guys are into PlayStation or maybe some random updates about stuff like this, then go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button. And if you would hit a like that really helps this video out, share this video. If you guys, um, have 
been able to do the fix, let me know in the comments section below. Again, your feedback is very important and it helps me create better content. I will see you guys in the next news update.